Hi all, Shane here, Land, Land 67. Uh, update for um, Warboss Tay's July painting challenge. This is going to be a joint update uh, for July 1st and maybe July 2nd because uh, it is exactly three minutes to midnight on July 1st, so this will probably be published July 2nd. But So it's going to serve both. So what have I done? Um, I've been base coating uh Field Marshal Wellington and or General General Wellington and Pickett not Pick yeah Pickett or Pickton. Sorry, I got my my war is confused. Picked in the Civil War, American Civil War not Napoleonic. So uh, they're slowly being uh you can't really see the camera isn't doing much justice, so I'll I'll uh I'll sort that out the next time. I think it's just overexposed. So I've just been blocking them in, using my airbrush and what have you. Um and yet, I've yet to start putting on my washes and my highlights and what have you but uh, they're getting there also work on my infantry continues it's tilt up so I'm doing them in batches of four or five so slowly getting there these are these are the Perry miniatures they're lovely models um, what I like to do is I like to spray them uh, black with Flaho surface primer then uh, tin down some Citadel uh, the system red, just over spray it and then start blocking and basing the white uh, areas which are their trousers, their webbing, their epaulets, the little plume here on their helmets or on their shackles which is the, the, the long type Abe Lincoln style hats to wear, um, sky gr or a neutral grey and then I'll give it a wash and I'll start toning up everything then. Uh, I get to do their face tones too, I like to paint their face tones in their entirety before I start working on their uniforms. So I just uh, kind of worked on him. So that's the first part done. And then in the post, um, some goodies arrived, which will make up uh, a part of my pledge for the painting challenge. Because I have a lot of this box set already done. So I'll have them done, I say, within the next maybe a week or two at the most. And then the time me over for the rest of the challenge, these arrived today from the post. These are Warlord Games. Uh, Haferian, I think is how you pronounce it. They're a German uh, regiment that fought with the British um, army. That's why they had the red coats, but they were all German speaking from one of the many uh, city states or principalities of Germany. Uh, before Germany united in the 1880s, I think it was the 1880s or 1860s, uh, Germany was made up of 39, I believe, city states, all with their own princes and governments, and Haferia was one of them. I think they're from the Ryan land, if I remember correctly. So these are from Mordor Games. You get uh, 36 hard plastic and metal figures. So uh, oh, they're pretty nice actually. Uh, you can see the standard bear. I'm really looking forward to working on the command, the drummer. You get a, a sapper as well, which was the, the chaps, the big bearded chaps to carry the axes for hacking down obstacles and what have you. So uh, it's getting there. It's, very, it's slowly but surely. So I'm going to start working on them once I get. Um, my rangers done, uh, which this is where they stand. I'm doing them in units 24, so it should be six trays of four if I get did my maths correctly. And this is where they're at at the moment. So slowly but surely, I can kind of get them done quick enough. Uh, one or two of these I've done a couple of months back, so I need to make another three stands of four men, and I'll be this unit done. Um, they're pretty nice. Uh, the command unit's pretty ni well done. This uh, when when I'm finished this unit, I'll bring my camera in properly and I'll uh, give you a proper look. See, so uh, it's slowly and surely getting there. And then just to wrap this video, because I don't want to be too long. Uh, since I'm working on a Napoleonic game and with the intention of refighting the Battle of Waterloo with my mate, well, I needed a bit of light reading now, didn't I? So, got myself this book, uh, Battle of Waterloo by Jeremy Black. Pretty good book. Um, it's it's not as intense as some of the books on the topic, so you know you get read in a couple of weeks. And just for getting your Napoleonic painting juices flowing, so to speak. So um, that's where I'm at. So that's the first update. So I have a lot more work to be doing, and um, I'll probably do some more painting fids 
uh, but proper kind of like sit and chat paint and vids over the next couple of days. But for now, just a quick update. So thanks for watching. Catch you all very soon and uh, stay safe. Bye bye.